The new SE Azula. This is the first production run with the S35VN stainless steel. If you've watched the channel long enough, you know I love uh, small fixed blades and especially ones in uh, you know uh, good quality stainless steel. A nice stone wash finish to it. It's an ambitious video for me. I haven't actually worked on camera in a long time. I used to do it in the beginning of my channel, you know, putting on scales, taking knives apart. <laughs> so bear with me. And this is going to be a direct cost comparison to the White River Backpacker Pro. I mean, basically just a backpacker, which is a skeletonized version. And then, you know, I'll, I'll explain these whole scales and everything, you know, later on in the video. So. And also I have the Bradford Guardian here, which isn't exactly a direct, you know, replacement or comparison. So they just dropped. I got mine through Knifeworks. I had it on pre-order. I got the knife for $75.95. You can get the G10 scales for $14.95. These are the same ones I added to that Becker BK14 a while back ago. I think I showed that video. I just uh, manipulated this inside to fit. And then they also sell a Micarta set for $16.95, which won't come all the way. So this is going to come all the way to the big hole in the back. The Micarta stops here, you know, but still gives a, a, a decent grip. And, you know, I didn't write any of the other places. I think Knifeworks has, I mean, uh, Knife Center has them now, Blade HQ, everybody. They're all around the 75 through 79.99 mark. Shows overall length. You know, S35VN blade thickness. Cutting edge. So I was curious if, and I, I didn't think that it wouldn't fit, but this is that Artemis sheet that I bought. My other SE Azula, you know, just the standard one with the black oxide coating, but this fits perfectly. No rattle. You know, it's stellar. The Artemis sheath, I don't remember how much this was, 25 or 30 bucks. You know, it's got the single belt loop. So this is what comes with it. And this is where, you know, the cost of the two, so the backpacker, without the scales I think is like 99 bucks. So it's right there it's about $20 more. And I think these were 19 $19 for the scales which puts you at about 119 to 129 depending on where you get it. You know, with the but you do get the really nice Kydex sheath. And it's got the horizontal or vertical carry on it options if you look at it. So and it's a little bigger handle. I, mean, I don't know if we're comparing apples to apples. The cutting edge is similar. It's got a little longer cutting edge, and obviously it's probably more of an Azula too. But it's similar enough. So I, I, after you spend for the Artemis sheath and everything, you're going to be around that same cost of probably maybe fifteen to ten dollars cheaper overall to get the Azula. Um, let's just see what the actual show you the difference in the blade. It looks like they're pretty similar, thickness wise. Ergonomics, this is just one of the best small fixed blades I've ever had so far. I have a couple, three of them. I like them so much. It's just, for my big hands, it's just uh, almost perfect. You know, and they give you this, I'm not into presentation or anything like that, but it is kind of a cool box. It's, you know, it's all wood. It slides open. I don't know if you remember this video that I put out. Now it fits in there nicely. So these scales, and you can see that it's kind of keyed right here for the actual inside of the knife. So it shows like a little downturned dog leg right there. So this fits in there perfectly like that. That's it. Let's see if I can get these screws in here without dropping them.
I'll tighten them up later. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the bag that they come in that I got from KnifeWorks. This is the SE. You get do you do get the click plate and everything that you want to mount on here. It does give you some hardware, Chicago screws. Pretty sure those are Chicago screws. They also have the SE Survival card. This is the newer boxes with the graphics on the outside. It used to be just white. And then obviously you get these stickers. I don't know if you've ever seen what SE gives you. Short-term survival tips. That's kind of a cool little thing. And then that's it. So now you have, you know, 75 plus 16 or 14. You know, but it's about 90, 90 bucks. You have yourself, you know, and I, once again, it is a smaller handle, but it, it's three finger for me with my hands, but it's comfortable. And I could really bear down on this knife, especially with these scales on there now, which, you know, it's kind of like uh, the Gail Bradley design philosophy where it's short of the tang, but I don't know if you ever watched the video on the way he designed the Gail Bradley. This radius, you can't really feel. I mean, you know, it's comfortable. And it does make it feel more of a 3D scale where it is. You don't really feel this gap right here. So I just think that's just a, a stellar deal, you know, for a top quality stainless steel, especially USA made. And then there it goes, it just fits perfectly into my Artemis carry sheath. So just a great option at a good price. You know, this is one of their best sellers. I just gave, I'm not showing my black oxide version, I just gave one to my son as a backup carry. You know, he's, he's uh, he needs a knife that he's not, you know, that shaman is working out fantastic for him in his job as a lineman. But he doesn't want to hand. Guys are always asking, especially they know he always carries a knife. They're always asking for a knife to pry or whatever. So I gave him that Azula, you know, 1095, which he could just hand to somebody. It's easy to sharpen on a coffee cup or a rock if you have to. And, uh, you know, he can hand it to other people, especially it's tough steel. So there it is. I, I'm just ecstatic that Essie's doing all this with their line, you know, coming out with the stainless steel high quality stainless steel versions. The SE Azula, an S35VN, and the G10 scales that go along with it. Put it here real quick next to the others. I'll also show in a pair of three, you know, just for size reference. Hope everybody's doing well. Have a great weekend.